Well, Marissa, so far so good this season for you and the team. And what an occasion coming up on Sunday at Villa Park. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, that's correct what you just said. Uh, we've had two wins so far and we're happy with that. They were quite like, yeah, important and difficult games, but now we're looking forward to our fixture on Sunday at Villa Park, a big stadium, which is, I think, a dream for every fo female footballer to play at such a big stadium. And hopefully loads of people will come and cheer us on. And as a player yourself, to play at such, as you say, a, a fabulous venue, do you think that will lift the performance levels, the fact that you're, you're so pleased to be playing there? Yeah, definitely. I think you can feel in training already that every girl, like every player is buzzing already and you can just see that increasing over like the next couple of days, I think. And I think, yeah, fans are important anyway, but I think on Sunday, if, if loads of fans can show up and actually push us like, to get that win and to show on that kind of pitch like how we can play as well like yeah if they cheer us on enough then we can show a good performance definitely yeah growing up and getting into the sport are these the types of stadia and types of occasions that are the reasons you got into the game yeah definitely i might i mean that's quite like rare to play at big stadiums like that but it's a good sign that um the men's stadium yeah that they open their stadium now for us and um, that is everyone's girl's dream, I think, and aim as well to play at such big like, crowd and stadiums and to play on that kind of surface, that carpet. Yeah, have you uh, you, you've already mentioned the, the supporters. Uh, have you felt that, the backing of the fans? Yeah, and, definitely. And what does that mean to you? Yeah, definitely. I can already see like, their passion and obsession. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they've been great, and especially our band. Can't wait to see them on Sunday, to hear them, their songs. Um, no, they've been really pushing us and that's been great. Yeah, that will be really good to see, won't it? And to, and to hear. But you mentioned the first two matches. Lots of goals scored and they've been shared around nicely, haven't they? Yeah, we've done it not really like the easy way. Um, mm -hmm. It's been quite like a close games and all that. But we are just happy that we came away with like three points each, so six in total. And that's the main aim, obviously, but we want to increase our performance now and want to learn from that and get better and better because I think that that was not like everything we can offer. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully the fans will see that already on Sunday that we've been training hard and working hard on and off the pitch to increase that every week. Yeah. So there are things to improve on, but the fact that you haven't done it the easy way does that say something about the spirit and togetherness of, of the team and squad? Definitely, like we, we went down 2-0 in one game and I think that you can see the spirit and ambition like, from every player and motivation to win, to win this game and I think everyone worked hard and was quite hot last weekend when we played and yeah, you can still see like everyone, every player is hungry and want to win this game and th that's so important if we want to move forward and to aim our goal for, for yeah, the end of the season. And a clean sheet would be nice, wouldn't it? To, to keep a, a blank. <laughs> to, to keep uh, everyone a like, yeah. <laughs> bit more relaxed, maybe, yeah. uh, our coaches included. I think that would be helpful, yeah. And you won't be underestimating Blackburn, will you? Because yes, they've had a difficult start to the campaign, but still, they can be dangerous teams to play, can't they? Because they haven't picked up any points yet. Of course, I think it will be a physical game and they have a couple of good, like, yeah, really good players and I think we need to be careful in terms of um, going into the game that we are prepared, that we are um, focused and um, yeah, kind of excited as well because you need that kind of like excitement and a bit nervous obviously pressure but yeah, we are confident in saying that we've been training good and, and hard and to, to get those three points on Sunday, yeah. You've played at the top level in England with the, the team from over the road, uh, Birmingham City. Now, how um, are you able to use your experience at, at that level? Uh, you, you've taken th this step down in, in order to help Aston Villa now. Yeah, I think I've had the chance to experience the English like top league, women's super league for three years now. And I think my experience is that I know maybe how to lead a group in terms of managing a game 
mm. and that's quite important um, towards end of games and also beginning or like throughout the game. So I want to try help the team to manage games, to control games, and um, to reach like more professionalism in terms of like yeah working mm. on and off the pitch as much as you can. Yeah. What were you expecting when you joined the club? And in a way, has what you've been through in the last few weeks, months? exceeded expectations? Obviously um, it's a different league, it's a championship, but I've already seen that the quality is good at championship, like it's increasing um, like every year, but this year I think especially um, more and more teams want to reach promotion this year mm. and you can tell that more teams are yeah, hungry and yeah, getting better and better and yeah, the last couple of weeks I can see how good this team is as well and I'm quite impressed with the uh, qualities and I've heard quite a lot about the team and their development but I'm, yeah, I'm buzzing that I'm here now and I'm part of it. And how good is it to be a part of women's football in England, especially following the feel good of the World Cup, how well the national team did and, and have you detected the, that sort of enthusiasm now for the game? Yeah, definitely. Like, I'm happy to be here and be part of this whole yeah, development right now, no matter Women's Super League or Championship or any other kind of league. And I feel like in England there are a lot of things happening right now. I mean, obviously investment and in terms of professionalism, everything is increasing. And you can tell that more and more fans come to stadiums, like even fans that maybe were more interested in, in, in men's football, they kind of start thinking about coming to women's mm. games. And I, I think it's just, they're good signs, yeah, and I'm just excited to see how, where this is going. And are you enjoying Bodymore Heath and the training facility here? It's top quality. Yeah, it? I mean, it's been great, like thanks to Christian and Jeremy and Paul Turrell who let us train here and use the same facilities as the men and we can use the pool and gym and everything and that's quite important in terms of professionalism, that you're able to recover probably properly <laughs> yeah. and that you um, are able to train on good pitches and that's been fantastic, yeah, phenomenal. And finally, do you have any personal targets and goals and also do you have any for the team generally this season or do you just sort of take it each week as it comes? Um, I mean like in total I just want to reach promotion with this team and I want to give everything I can. And because this team deserves it, like they deserve this next step and I think they're ready for it and everyone, I can feel it that like everyone is working towards this goal and I, me personally, I, I want to help as much as I can on the pitch, play as much as I can and be fit and yeah, lead this team and hopefully we can gain promotion at the end of the year. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you yeah. at Villa Park on Sunday. Brilliant. Thanks. Thank you.